Hi, I'm Jello Gonzalez and welcome to TechRap. This week we have a tutorial for you. So, you've seen the Netflix documentary, The Social Dilemma, which shows how today's tech giants vacuum up massive amounts of data to tailor the content and the ads that we see on their platforms, inadvertently causing uh, these different realities for us and causing uh, deep uh, polarization, uh, among other dangers. In the documentary, we saw the user having a voodoo doll-like avatar whose moods and behavior can directly be influenced by the platform's uh, content algorithms and AI. Uh, the tech giant surplus of uh, behavioral data is what makes this possible. But just what exactly does Google know about us? We can use Google's takeout tool to see. Follow these steps. Log into your Google account and go to takeout.google.com. On there, you'll see a long list of Google products, some of which you may have interacted with a lot and some maybe not so much. You can opt to download data from all of the services and products seen there, or you can just check a few to keep processing time shorter. For a quick overview, check the following, Location History, and My Activity. Now click Next Step, and then on the next page, click Create Export. In a few minutes, you'll get a download link. Under Location History, you'll see the places that Google knows you've been in arranged by year. You'll have less results if at some point you've turned off location tracking. Under My Activity, you can listen to recordings of your using Google Assistant, which Google says they use to improve voice recognition capabilities, the topics you've searched for in Gmail, what apps you've used on Android including Time and Day, Google Maps searches, pages accessed through their news app, and of course, what you search for on both Google and YouTube. Additionally, Takeout is what you'd use to download all your data from Gmail, Photos, and Google Drive should you want to remove them there. What the downloaded data shows you is the amount of information that we give to Google in exchange for the services the company provides and the promise of convenience. Google is obviously a very convenient place for all your digital activities, but having a glimpse of the data they collect, you can assess for yourself if it's worth it in exchange for your privacy. But if you want to stay with Google, next time we'll show you a few tips on how to make your activities using Google products more private. That's it for us. Thanks for watching.